morning. It is Monday and I am so excited to be vlogging this week because something really exciting happened. I changed brokerages. I'm now with Keller Williams Fox Cities and I'm excited to show you what my first week there is like. First of all, my goal was to sit down in my office at 9 a.m. and start working on stuff. I am dressed and ready to go even though Pretty much my whole day is going to be from home, um, but I wanted to feel productive and, I don't know, professional and be able to get up and go if anything came up. So we're ready to go completely and it is only 8.40. So we are making pretty good time here. Um, I do have a book, actually it's right here, covered under a couple of things. But I have a book that one of the staff at Keller Williams gave me to read and I have been reading it but I haven't had a whole lot of time so it's The Millionaire Real Estate Agent by Gary Keller and I am currently on page 50. I'd say, well, let's look. It's got about 350 pages so I have a while left to go. Um, but I think before 9 this morning, since I have some extra time, I think I'm going to put another dent in this book and see how far I can get. I was watching the Hustle Humbly podcast this morning while I got ready, so I just feel very motivated and always like in the real estate mindset whenever I listen to them. I've been listening to them for like two years now, so... Highly recommend. I did not listen to their newest episode. I actually listened to one about being a full-time agent and just things that you can do and tips and tricks and things that I could take away to maybe um, implement into my week this week. So that's what we're doing and I'm so excited to see you here and excited to take you along for this week. Okay, so I'm stopping for now, but I have some notes that I wrote down that I just wanted to share because, well, it says right here on the front of the book, actually, it's not about the money, it's about being the best that you can be. And I do really like that because, you know, if I would have saw this book like, oh, the millionaire real estate agent, it's like, mm, that's maybe not like the mindset that I want to have, but I have really enjoyed this book so far. Um, so a couple different things that I have learned that I wanted to share. So there's this triangle, which I'll share it on the screen, but there's this triangle where models is on the bottom and then creativity is on the top and that's a stable model. And then there is one where creativity is on the bottom and the models are on the top and that's unstable. And it just kind of reminds you to have your models and your systems in place and make sure that they work at the core and then being able to add the creativity on top of it. So I think that a lot of people do just put in the creativity beforehand and they don't really think about the core of it and like what it's actually doing and then that way it can be just kind of inefficient so I like that way of thinking especially because I am a very creative person and so having those models in place and then building upon them with the creativity to set yourself apart is something that I really enjoy just seeing it visually um, and I feel like I have been able to do that so far with my business. So it was just a nice um, reassurance. And then this other triangle, leads, listings, and leverage. So leads, everyone has two jobs, selling real estate and generating leads. Um, and that goes for a lot of other professions as well. And then listings, the gift of the real estate gods, because you can use these listings to generate new buyers and you obviously, the listings themselves generate business. So um, listings are the gift of the real estate gods. And then leverage, so time versus money. So when you get to be really, really busy and you just can't take on any more, you leverage time and money and you might wanna pay an assistant, things like that. So. That was another triangle that I wrote down. Um, and then this was something from the first section that I read to previously, but that your dreams and goals should be larger than you think, because if you think that way, you're gonna work even harder to achieve those goals. And then at some point you're gonna fall probably where you want it to be. But if you create smaller goals, you are not gonna have that momentum that you would as if you were trying to reach these huge, huge goals. So 
I don't know if that makes any sense, but it made sense to me. So just having bigger goals and bigger dreams, which I feel like I've tried to keep my goals maybe smaller than they could have been just so that, you know, cause I always have, you know, you've always been taught like smart goals, like make it attainable. And so that's where I've tried to come up with goals as well. But I feel like this does make sense to me that you want to have huge dreams and huge goals and don't limit yourself. So I liked that. Um, not trying is worse than failure. <laughs> True. Um, and I am like trying a couple different things for the first time this week. So that kind of was reassuring as well that, you know, even if it doesn't go well or it doesn't go how I planned or it, I don't get the results that I thought I would, that not trying would be worse than failing. Hi, you've reached Marissa Miller with Keller Williams Fox Cities. I'm sorry I couldn't take your call. Please leave your name and a brief message and I'll be sure to get back to you. Feel free to send me a text or an email at marissamiller at kw.com for a possible quicker response. Thank you. Have a good day. <clears throat> I like the message, but <laughs> not, the, not the thing. Hi, you've reached Marissa Miller with Keller Williams Fox Cities. I'm sorry I couldn't get to your. Ugh. Hi, you've reached Marissa Miller with Keller Williams Fox Cities. I'm sorry I couldn't get to. The... I cannot get that part. Feel free to send me a text or an email at marissa at. It's my old email. Okay. <laughs> Hi, you've reached Marissa Miller with Keller Williams Fox Cities. I'm sorry that I missed your call. Please feel free to send me a text or an email at marissa miller at kw.com for a possible quicker response. Otherwise, just leave your name and a brief message and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Have a good day. Might be the winning one. Mm, that's the winner. get to help my cousin Michelle out with some properties and she has me doing a couple of tasks so I just spent the past hour doing some of those there are a lot of like design things and you know that's like my jam so we also had to come up with a tenant letter um, because these are duplexes so we have to notify the tenants that the property is going to be listed for sale so we have this nice little letter with both of our faces and contact info on there and it just gives some information about the process and just lets them know that we're there for them and if they have any questions um so that was actually generated we are both like pretty techy michelle more than i i would say um, she always comes up with the most efficient ways of doing things. So um, <laughs> she decided to throw it into chat GPT. And so it came up with a letter for us. And then we obviously tweaked it and made sure everything was accurate. And this is what we came up with for our tenant letter. So I just finished um, that. And I have also a different option. Um, I don't wanna show the guy's name, but I also have a different option. Um, except for I think that the font is just better in this one that we have here. 
compared to this one. I don't know. It's Poppins versus Helvetica. So Helvetica is like the Keller Williams font that they use. So I just think it looks a little more cohesive using that one. Um, but yeah, just finished that up. Updated a few more things that I forgot about um, in regards to switching brokerages. My cousin texted me and she was like, she's like, update your Zillow profile. I'm like, thanks. Because <laughs> there's just so many things that you don't think about. And like, even this morning, you saw me update my voicemail. So yes, there are a lot of things that you don't think about. But next, I'm going to get working on my neighborhood letter because I'm planning on meeting all the neighbors sometime this week once that my um, fall newsletter comes in. So I'm going to work on a little letter just introducing myself and it'll have like my contact info and it'll also have focus on energy link to get like a welcome pack. So focus on energy actually partners with Wisconsin Utilities and they just are all about spreading more green um, practices and just creating more energy efficient products and having people use them in their homes. So they have great welcome packs. If you're watching this now, you can go and actually go on their website and order a welcome pack and it'll come with light bulbs and energy efficient products that you can use in your home. So I'm going to just put a link to that on my little letter to the neighbors and I'm going to work on that right now. So my thing that I've been doing lately, um, instead of finding templates on Canva and instead of reinventing the wheel and coming up with something new, the people who made these, please don't hate me for this, but I like to look on Pinterest and find like templates that I like and then I just kind of recreate them. So this is the one that I'm looking at right now. I am picking this for my neighborhood mailing. Um, actually, it's just gonna be something that I drop off. So I have it pulled up in Canva right here and obviously the rectangles are like multicolored right now. So this is gonna look a little bit different, but um, I'm gonna try and make it look like this. So. Um, that's one thing that I pride myself on. I'm actually pretty good at like looking at something and knowing exactly what I need to do to recreate this. So this was the template that I was going off of from Pinterest and this is what I ended up coming up with. I am excited to print out, see how it looks on paper. I just pretty much switched the color to the bottom um, and then I switched a couple other things around. But I have this information for Focus on Energy at the bottom where people can scan and get their free um, energy saving pack. 
and then obviously I will switch out this picture to our actual house. I just didn't want to put this all over YouTube where we live. Um, and yes, then I have a little blurb about us, me and Max, and moving into the neighborhood and then also what people can do to help me and my business and how I can help them. And then this bottom section is focus on energy, obviously my contact info. Um, so at the top it just says, I'm not just a real estate agent, I am also your neighbor. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really wanted it to just be like a one page flyer. So I'm very happy that I got all of the information I needed on one page. seasonal allergies and I just feel like around this time almost every day I just kind of feel like I don't know stuffy so hopefully this slight tiny bit of caffeine and I don't know just something warm and comforting is helpful um, but yeah right now we are going to do a CMA for a lead that I have and just check in with him see how things are going with his house um, and then just a couple more things then I think I'm gonna go for a walk and we're gonna call it a day for work stuff so we'll pick back up tomorrow 